My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is the Nature Hike 60 Plus 10 Backpack. I've begun testing this product out early this year, and it has been a long time since you all have seen it. I've taken so much time with this product because this is one weird backpack. It really is. This pack features one of the weirdest harness systems that I've ever seen. Not because like anything's new or different, but because, well, I'll show you. It's strange, folks. Let me go ahead and get this tied up here, and we will begin with the review. With this review, there's a lot of information to go over. First off, there are three different versions of this pack. There's a 40 plus 10, the 60 plus 10, made from nylon. There's also a 60 plus 10 made from Dynamaterial. The prices and the weights of these vary, but for this episode, we're focusing on the nylon version. So the retail price of this pack is $110. On Amazon, you can find it for 90 bucks. That is what I paid for it. This pack is available in two different colors, gray, which they refer to as black, and there's also a blue version. The primary material for this pack is nylon. It does feature YKK zippers. The weight of the 60 plus 10 nylon version is two and a half pounds. The dimensions, you're looking at 26.3 inches by 10.2 with a depth of seven inches. The max loadout weight of this pack is 30.8 pounds. This is a unisex pack that can be used by men and women, or at least that's what Nature Hike says, but it's not true. This is meant for men and men only, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Now that we've gone over the stats, let's take a look at this pack in some detail. Let's look at the features. Then we will get to the pros and cons because the pro list is about that big and the cons is a mile long. Looking at the top of the backpack, you have a roll top. You have two compression straps that are cords that go over the top. Each one has a buckle. Across the body of the pack, you have a compression strap, which you can use or stow in the hydration pockets. Let's flip over here to the side. You have more compression straps. They also have buckles. Down below, you have a hydration pocket. You have the exact same features on the other side. Going back to the front of the pack here, you have a very large mesh pocket. It is huge. Behind that, you have a small pocket that goes down to right about here. And it starts right about here. It does have a lip on it. And this is what connects to the top compression straps. You have shock cord with drop poles on the sides. You have loops down at the bottom so you could stow trekking poles and so on. On the bottom of the pack, you have a drainage hole, a grommet, and you also have drainage holes for each of the hydration pockets. In addition to the drainage grommet, you have this zipper right here. And that is where the rain fly is kept. And yes, a rain fly is included with this backpack. You have the harness system, load lifters. The pack is hydration compatible and you will find ports on both sides. You have two loops with this pack. So if you're using a bladder, you could run the hose through those. On the left-hand side, you have a pocket that is integrated into the backpack. This is for phones, water bottles, and so on. This cannot be removed. You have shock cord and a pool. Below that, you do have a sternum strap. Let me tell you this, folks, it's terrible. We'll talk about it in just a moment though. Going down, you have further adjustments like you would with any other backpack. Going behind the shoulder harness, you have the back of the backpack. Now this features foam. It is very, very dense, and it does give this backpack some good rigidity. You have a small section of padding for the lumbar support. You have the waist belt that features pockets, one on each side. You have, of course, the buckle, further adjustments. And as far as the outside, that's it. Now, folks, let's go to the inside of the backpack. Again, this features a roll top. The inside of the backpack is extremely simple. There's no sleeves, no pockets. There is nothing here but a cavity. That's it. There's no dedicated sleeping bag compartment or anything like that. Before we start with the review pros, let's talk about the sternum strap. As you all can see, my pack has one. I've heard reports that some packs did not include one, so I don't know if Nature Hike has removed these or if they were simply forgotten with some backpacks. Either way, some people get storm straps, some people do not. I mentioned this just in case you decide to purchase this pack, which I doubt you will. If you do for some reason, it may or may not come with a sternum strap. While you will definitely want a sternum strap with this backpack, in the end, it doesn't matter a whole lot because it's pretty awful. The design of this is terrible, and we will touch upon that in just a second. All right, so let's move over to the pros for this backpack. Let's start with the review, the good, right? The overall quality of this backpack for the money is good. You get nylon materials, YKK zippers, yeah. The pack is well made. The stitching's good. The overall quality is good. For $80, you typically find a backpack kind of like Teton Sports. It's made from polyester. It's not as strong, not as durable, and so on. But what you have here is an ultralight backpack 
with good materials that is fairly strong. It's a fairly capable backpack. Now, I don't want to make this sound too glowing because this pack has serious problems. Do not buy it. But the overall quality is good. The frame for the backpack is also very good. It's about an inch thick and it does a great job for giving you a foundation to build upon on the inside of the pack when it comes to packing your gear. Because it's so rigid, you can easily pack your gear inside of this backpack. And that is a nice feature to have with an ultra light pack. The next pro is this is a 60 plus 10 liter backpack. It does offer you a lot of space. You do have quite a bit of expandability with this pack. Talking about the expandability for a second, that is going to go up not out. This is a very narrow, long pack. It could go from this to <laughs> this. That extra 10 liters goes straight up. So keep that in mind. The shoulder harness pocket is big enough for your cell phone. The compression straps on the side of the pack work very well. And also the straps on top. You can attach additional gear. You can compress the pack. You can put your trekking poles in here, secure them, a tripod, whatever you want to. Again, they work well. Next up, I love this large mesh pocket. This is fantastic for putting wet gear inside of this. The last pro for this backpack is the rain cover. One is included and it works well. So those are the pros for this backpack. Let's talk about the cons because this list is huge. I'm about to go over a lot of information, so get the coffee ready. So where to begin when it comes to the problems with this pack? because again, there are so many. I've mentioned before, this is one oddly designed backpack. And let's just start with the, the oddest aspects. Okay, so you see the shoulder harness system, right? I want you all to focus on the amount of space between the two harnesses. That's roughly three inches right there. Three inches. This is where your neck goes. I do not know anyone who has a three inch neck. Maybe a child does, but the torso length of this pack is too long for a child, so it wouldn't work. So what happens? You put this pack on, obviously <laughs> your neck is bigger than three inches. The harness system spreads apart and digs right into the side of your neck. The padding on this pack is very thick, it's very stiff, it's rough. So all of that is digging into the side of your neck. Because of the distance being so short between the two straps, and the straps themselves having to pull away, it pushes the back of the pack away from you. So in the end, this is a very, very uncomfortable backpack and I'm only getting started. I should mention this everyone, the harness system here is only comfortable when you're wearing a jacket or maybe a sweater or something like that. Otherwise, it will simply rub you raw. Just by wearing this pack with nothing but a sleeping bag in it, I feel it. I mean, it's digging in right here, it's uncomfortable. The simple fact is I don't wanna wear this pack any longer. It really is that bad. The next con for this backpack is the torso length. It is designed for someone who has a torso length of 18 to 20 inches. That is a very specific range. And with everybody's body type being different, there's a good chance that this backpack will not fit you as far as the torso length goes. Nature Hike does not state any information concerning the torso length. Those are based upon my measurements and that's a rough estimate. To put it another way, everyone, if you're tall or short, you may find that this pack simply does not fit you because of the torso length. I promise you, it will not fit you with the harness system because of the spacing issues. The next con are the hip belt pockets. They are worthless, they're super small. You might be able to get a protein bar in there, but that's about it. Most cell phones will not fit. Your keys may not fit. Once you have this around your waist, it tightens up. They're super small, super tight. Now let's talk about the pocket on the harness system. This is big enough for your phone, that's it. You can get small, and I mean it, very small water bottles to fit, but it takes two hands. So if you're hiking along, you pull out your bottle, you take a sip, to put it back in, you have to use both hands to do it. For a phone pocket, it works. For a hydration pocket, it really doesn't. Now it's time to talk about another huge problem with this backpack, the sternum strap. As you all can see, the sternum strap is low. I mean, it's just about to the point where it's underneath my pecs, and it cannot be adjusted because of the little phone pocket, hydration pocket, whatever you want to call it, is sewn to the harness system itself. So you cannot adjust the sternum strap upwards. It can only go down. At this point, it's already super low. Your sternum is up here, not down here. Let's say that your pack does not come with a sternum strap. Well, <laughs> then the pack will do whatever it wants to. You need to have a sternum strap. A sternum strap is what is going to hold your loadout into place. I've seen comments online, people received the pack, didn't have a sternum strap, they had to go buy one or make one. That's ridiculous. 
Either way, the sternum strap sucks with this backpack. To put it plain and simple, it's terrible. First off, for guys, it's not very comfortable. For women, it is super uncomfortable. Think of a woman's body. Their chest goes right through this area. It goes right where this strap is. Do you push it down underneath your chest or hike with this off? If you hike with it off, you can see what the harness system does. Because it's pushing into your neck, it flares out. Then your pack just goes crazy, right? It simply doesn't work. You have to have the sternum strap. Don't worry everyone, the cons continue. The complaints continue. Inside of the backpack, there's no hydration sleeve. There's no clips. There's no way to secure a bladder inside of there. So you have to put all of your gear in and lay the bladder on top. With this backpack, you shouldn't carry a hydration bladder. It simply doesn't work. The next con is this. With the pack on, it is virtually impossible to grab your water bottles from behind. You have to take the pack off to get them out and to put them up. The last con that I have for this pack is ventilation. The back here is completely flat, so ventilation is rather poor. As you hike along on a hot day, you're sweating away. There really isn't any place for that moisture to go. So once you start sweating, your shirt gets wet, it stays wet. My summary for this pack is this. This is one of the worst backpacks I've ever used. It is definitely one of the worst designed. It features just terrible design decisions. It's extremely uncomfortable and it will be for most people. In fact, I really can't think of anyone to recommend this to. I think if you have like the dimensions of an alien, right? Like super long, thin neck, less than three inches. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a very weird backpack. It really is. The decisions that were made with this pack are mind-numbing. It's like the company never tested this out. The harness system alone, I mean, it's right there on the side of your neck, constantly rubbing, incredibly uncomfortable. I mean, it's such a weird backpack. So for 90 bucks, I would highly recommend skipping this. Nature Hike needs to discontinue this product and go back to the drawing board. They have a good basis here, right? This part of the pack is excellent. The space, the pockets, the compression strap, the front pocket, and so on. That's excellent. But once you flip this around, you look at the harness system, none of that makes any sense at all. The sternum strap, what a joke. I mean, really, what a joke. Completely worthless. I almost forgot this part, everyone. Before wrapping up the video, I wanna to read to you all how Nature Hike describes this backpack. Multi-purpose, lightweight, easy to carry. It is compact and suitable for outdoor climbing, travel, camping, commuting, business trips, school, sports, gym, hiking, motorcycle, town use, and disaster prevention. Wow, what a backpack, folks. A backpack that was made for everything. That's complete BS. <laughs> it's funny, but it's complete BS. In the end, everyone, do not buy this backpack. It is garbage. Nature Hike, take this off the market. This is terrible. You all should know better. Go back to the drawing board and make a good product because this is not worth $90, plain and simple. Everyone, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. Make sure to hit the like button because it does help. Subscribe if you want to. Support on Patreon and here on YouTube if you want to join the Wolf Pack. I do appreciate it. Again, the channel is agenda free. Why is the channel agenda free? I purchased this with my own money so I could say exactly what I want to about this product. With other channels, they have companies sending them products and they cannot be vocal about the problems those products have. I can. If the product is good, I say so. If it's bad, I say so the end. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. I will see you all around soon.